Hey guys, Enrique here from Maven Analytics, and I want to show you a really quick Excel tip on boosting your productivity using keyboard shortcuts. So let's take a look. All right, now back when I was just getting started with Excel, the main thing that helped me really boost my productivity and that made me feel like I was actually becoming an Excel expert was learning to let go of the mouse and starting to use Excel shortcuts properly. So what I'm going to do now is just walk you through some of the ones that I learned first that really helped me the most and that I use the most often. So to do that, we're going to be working with this movie data set that I have here. Um, if you're interested in it, I actually pulled this from the data playground at Maven Analytics. And we've got, you know, movie titles, info, the Rotten Tomatoes critics consensus, and then some other data like the rating genre, reviews, etc. So right off the bat, let's say that we open this Excel workbook and we want to see how many movies there are. Well, to do that, we could just navigate to the last row here. Let's use our scroll bar over here. Let's move down. And it looks like we've got around 16,000. Now, that was great. Let me scroll back up. But it took me a long time to get there or at least a lot longer than I needed. So let's again get rid of our mouse, have our first cell selected, and just hold the control key and press the down arrow. And what that'll do is just navigate to the last cell with data in this column, which again is the last movie. So now we know that we've got 16,000 movies. And if I wanna go back up, hold control, arrow up, and there we go. Now let's say that we actually wanted to calculate this count within a cell. So I'm going to press control arrow right to move to my last column, then use my arrows to move to this cell here, and we want to use a count a function. So let's write that. And I could just select all the movie titles manually with my mouth, but this is going to take forever this time. So let's head back up, control arrow up, select the first title, and this time we're actually going to press control shift and hold and when we press arrow down, what that's going to do is select all of the cells from my selection all the way down to the last values. Now here's another neat little shortcut that I actually just learned. If I press control backspace, that's actually going to navigate me to my active cell, which is my count A right here. So let's close that, press enter, and again we've got 16,369 movies. What we can also do is maybe sum our audience reviews here. So let's press equals, sum. We can use our arrows from here to navigate to that first value. Control shift arrow down, close parentheses, press enter. Just navigate back up to my result here. And we've got, I think that's 2,500,000,000 audience reviews for all our 16,000 movies here. And so far we've made selections for a single column. So control shift arrow down. But what we can also do is make selections for a row. So control shift arrow right. Or do both. So control shift arrow right and then control shift arrow down is actually going to select the entire range of data here. But what we can also do is press control A and that will automatically select the entire range as well. Press control backspace, go back to our selection. And we could do something like copy and paste this data set somewhere else. I'm going to press escape and show you my all-time favorite kind of set of shortcuts. So let's say that we're looking at this data set and we've got a lot of information here about movies so we can use that to maybe find a movie that we'd like to watch. So let's say we want to filter all comedy movies. Normally what you'd do is go to data, select filter, click this drop down, click select all, select comedy, and press OK. And that's fine, but I'm going to remove the filter here and show you the better and faster way to do it with simply using the shortcut. So you're going to start by pressing Control Shift L, and what that's going to do is activate the filter toggle. And once that's activated, we can use our arrows to navigate to genre, press Alt arrow down to open the drop down here, and then just use the arrows to navigate and use space to toggle these selections. So we'll remove the select all, 
move down to comedy, press space, select that, press OK. So we've got comedy movies now. Let's say we also want PG-13 movies. We want them to be certified fresh. Maybe have an audience rating. Let's use the number filter here. Greater than or equal to 80. And we want the release date to be, let's say, after maybe 2015. So 1-1-2015. One, one, We're looking for something new. Press OK. And just like that, we've got our filtered set of movies. And we can even do something like maybe order them by rating, move down, press space. And it looks like the highest rated movie is Fighting With My Family. Although I think I'm more of in the mood for some La La Land. And that's it. Now, feel free to comment below if you have any questions or any other suggestions. And make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more of this content. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one.